Hello, everybody. We're gonna we're gonna start now. I apologize for the delay um, with the rain and all. We were waiting to see if everyone could get here, and one of our panelists, Myra, is is a little delayed as well. Oh, here she is. Fantastic. Great. So then we can begin. Uh, good afternoon. I am Chris Malatoris, and I work here at the Center for Global Development on our policy outreach team. I want to thank you all for coming, especially our honoree, uh, Gita Rao Gupta and her family, members of our selection committee, as well as our distinguished panelists, uh, which actually include uh, three presidents from the uh, International Center for Research on Women. Uh, that's Gita, uh, Gita's predecessor, Myra Buvnich, uh, and Sarah, uh, or Susan Cambu, um, Sarah Cambu, uh, who's the current president, um, as well as Susan Levine, a board member at one time of both the Center for Global Development and ICRW. You'll be hearing from them later on in the program, so thank you all for coming. This occasion marks the ninth year that the Center for Global Development and Foreign Policy honor an individual or organization with the Commitment to Development Ideas in Action Award. To tell you more about the purpose of the award and our past winners, I would like to introduce you to Susan Glasser. Susan is Editor-in-Chief of Foreign Policy, the magazine of global politics, economics, and ideas. A longtime foreign correspondent and editor for the Washington Post, Susan joined Foreign Policy in 2008 and has been spreading or spearheading the magazine's ambitious expansion in print and online at foreignpolicy.com. During her tenure, the magazine has won numerous awards for its innovative coverage, including two National Magazine Awards, and was recently selected as a finalist for a Magazine of the Year by the American Society of Magazine Editors. Please join me in welcoming Susan Glasser. Susan. I promise I didn't pay him for that introduction. Uh, well, I will not go on at great length about the past winners because we're here to celebrate today's winners. Uh, but, uh, you know, I appreciate the chance not only to be here and to congratulate uh, Gita in person, but also uh, to give you a little bit of history and context of what I think is a really uh, wonderful collaboration uh, between the Center for Global Development and Foreign Policy, uh, which has a rich tradition of picking some incredibly meaningful uh, past winners of this award. And I'm sure that, you know, this year's is, is I think, a terrific addition to this list, uh, which this collaboration started almost uh, with the birth of the center, as, as Nancy was recalling to me, in 2003 was the first winner of the Commitment to Development Award. And some of the past winners are, are just absolutely some of the most sort of meaningful and, and interesting figures in this field that, that you could imagine. Uh, last year, we selected a group, and that was my first year of involvement with this. Uh, we selected a group called Publish What You Pay, uh, which is a global civil society coalition, uh, which is dedicated to promoting revenue transparency in the oil, gas, and mining industries. And I think is a terrific example of, you know, selecting uh, a group that perhaps not everybody here might have been familiar with, but really showed what kind of innovative work you can do at the intersections of a lot of different both global public policy, but also uh, the internet and using new technologies in new ways. Uh, you know, they're engaged with legislation. I, it was a really stimulating uh, choice, I think, for this award, and it showed the kind of range of, of things and of interests that, that the center has dedicated itself to. Previous winners include everyone from the One Campaign uh, and Global Witness uh, to going back to the very first recipient, which was the Utstein Group in 2003. Uh, I'm delighted now to turn this over to uh, Nancy, who really needs no introduction, but I have to put in a plug, probably because she's too modest to do so as well, and to say that we have also selected Nancy as one of foreign policy's top global thinkers of the year, and uh, we are pleased to recognize her. So. Uh, thank you very much, Susan, and thank you to all of you for coming out on this bad afternoon. It's certainly worth it to see all of you here. Um, as Susan said, the Commitment to Development Award is about finding a person or an individual who has changed attitudes or practices of the rich toward the poor. And in that sense, it is part of encapsulating the mission of the Center for Global Development. Um, we also have this ambition of trying to pick people 
and institutions through which we can reinforce the messages that they're bringing to the rest of the world. Um, so it's our effort to have partners in a very real sense through this award. So it's really been a wonderful tradition. Um, I do want to say, following Susan, that we're disappointed that this year Moises Naim, with whom we started this project so many years ago, and who was, of course, the editor of Foreign Policy before Susan Glasser, couldn't come um, because he's traveling, I believe. But uh, I had to say to my colleagues, you saw some of us huddling um, before that we started officially, that there's something kind of okay about Moises not being here for what looks a little bit like the Old Girls Club <laughs> Award, <laughs> except that Susan is not amongst, or some of the others here are not so old. <laughs> so I have actually the pleasure of uh, saying something about Gita, who many of you know, obviously, as I look out at the uh, audience here. But I still want to go on and talk about Gita a little bit. Um, as you know, Gita is the, now the Deputy Executive Director for Programs at UNICEF. And she was a senior fellow at the Gates Foundation in 2010 and 2011. Uh, equally and more important, she was the president of the International Center for Research on Women for 15 years. Uh, if you don't all know, ICRW is a research and action think and do tanks in many respects. I learned from ICRW something of how to be a think and do tank, which is what the center for global development is. ICRW is dedicated to improving the lives of women in developing countries. I want to just say a word about, that isn't in Gita's official bio, uh, about a couple of things that to me are her, represent her singular uh, contributions, singular substantive contributions beyond her leadership and her passion for the issue that came through in all those years at the ICRW. Um, on her own substantive and analytic work, I want to mention two things. One is, Gita was an early proponent of doing research and thinking about its implications on the issue of women's vulnerability to AIDS. Um, we had in the press release uh, announcing this award that, among other things uh, that I remember as being important, this was before this center started, Gita gave the plenary speech at the 2000 International AIDS Conference in Durban, South Africa. Um, that actually put gender at the international level at the heart of the HIV AIDS pandemic. Even earlier, I would say, Gita was one of the people, the way I've always thought of it, who, who basically was making the point in different ways that um, women's low status in some settings, in some parts of the developing world, in the context of the HIV AIDS pandemic, needed to be thought of as a public health disaster. And I think sh her own work and ICRW's work in that area was very important. The second substantive area that I will always remember Gita for is that she was an early contributor to we must think of, we must focus on women's economic contribution and on opening up women's um, ability, to, society's ability to exploit, in the good sense, the contribution that women are making. The concept of women as agents of change and not primarily or only uh, victims of the situations in which they live. So um, with that, uh, I want to ask Susan to come back up and I think Gita comes back up, Chris, now. We actually give Gita the award. <laughs> and then we take a picture, and then we move on to the panel. So, Gita. Let's take it out.
from CGD <laughs> and Foreign Policy. Thank you. Yes, you all clap. <laughs> We'll give you the box afterwards. <laughs> <laughs>